Welcome to the second part of the JoyPro tutorial. In this part, we are talking about how to get started in terms of how to download it and make your first relation. So first, go to the GitHub page. On the GitHub page, you find a folder called builds. Click on it. In this folder, you see all the builds that are historically in there. Please download always the latest builds which is the one with the highest number, in my case V0046. Click on it and then on download. Once it's downloaded, please extract it somewhere where it can overwrite itself if necessary. Otherwise, the program might crash on when it wants to update itself, which is very unfortunate. So now click the JoyPro Excel to start it. It will tell you uh, your PC might be under risk, but hey, it's by me, so either you trust me or just compile it yourself and go through the source code and see that there's no malicious code in there. So now Tripro will start and uh, it will take a second. So this is kind of what you will see in the start, like an empty window down here, maybe some lines or not. And, uh, to create your first relation, click on the Add Relation button. We are creating now the pitch. So let's search for pitch. Everything you type in the search bar on the top right, it will search through the description of the input. And how, now we see already for the 8 and a the pitch, and uh, we want for instance the 8 and a too. Um, and now we edit it by clicking on the Add Item button. Now we see that already this ID code has pitch for multiple planes, which are automatically checked. But we also see like some planes are missing, like the C101, or also, well, the 14 Rio does not have a pitch, but uh, let's go through it. The gazelle is also missing, it's uh, cyclic, which is in a way a pitch, but hey. The mosquito is also missing its pitch, and also we want to add pitch for R2 as well as we want to have it on the same axis. So let's look again here in the upper part for the C101. There, there we have the C101. With the pitch as axis. We click the add item button again and we check. Now the C101 is added. We have to check through if there is another input with the same ID on another aircraft. We have to make sure that each column, the checkboxes of each column, there can be at maximum only one checked checkbox in each column. Please make sure otherwise you might have some faulty inputs later. In case you find a checkbox which should not be there, just uncheck it. That is good enough. So the other plane that was missing, or rather helicopter, was the gazelle. So let's search for cyclic. And there is the cyclic pitch for the gazelle. Let's add that as well. And here we have it. We quickly check there is no other... As you see here, now the MiG-21 has two items in it which are checked, but we want the pitch with the joystick, not with the mouse, so we uncheck the lower one here. And check for, through the rest. And similar story for the F-14 and the Christian Eagle. Just uncheck that so that each column has a maximum of one checked checkbox. As I don't care as much about the Mosquito, uh, the easy one, I kind of ignore that for now. Let's just go to the IL-2 as well for the pitch. So I'm just searching again for pitch. 
Um, because usually IL-2 stuff becomes or comes after the DCS stuff, I just scroll to the bottom of the list. And I see here pit blank control pitch for IL-2 game. I just add that. Since the IL-2 IDs are very different, it's unlikely that DCS has anything in there. So I click on finish relation. Oh, I have to set the relation name. Let's call it just a simple pitch. Now click on finish relation. And there it should be in a second. There it is actually. We see here now the pitch. We can edit it, duplicate it, or delete it. So congratulations, you've finished your first relation. And let's see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.